Hey everybody, Steve Chase here. I want to share with you one of my favorite reports it's called the Custom Summary Report. What's special about this report I'm going to share with you is that it is basically a secret report that is hidden um, in your accounts. Uh, the, the other thing I love about this is even if you have QuickBooks Simple Start, this can be a huge workaround for some of the report functionality that you don't get uh, with your subscription. So how this works is this link that you're seeing right here um, needs to be used in your QuickBooks online account and it will take you straight to the, the report access here. So basically you could copy it. I'm going to put a link in the in the description of the video here. You would copy that then you would just jump into QuickBooks and go into QuickBooks and paste it. And what will happen is you'll get the uh, the report that just pop populates just right off the bat here as the default. So it'll be this year to date, and it's got this information in here. Um, so what is really fascinating is that you can change the rows to equal. Uh, I like the vendors section. So vendors, for example, and then just hit hit run report here. All right, um, and so. The other place to, to get the rows, once you actually produce a report, you can actually come up to the re display rows by and you can select, maybe you want to display, you know, customers. Very, very cool here. Um, there's another thing to check out is you got display columns by and you could do months. That might be helpful. Um, really to see. You know, right off the bat here, I'm saying, oh, what happened here in July? Something something changed here. So this could present some really cool insights on uh, this report here. So I think of this kind of like a pivot table in Microsoft Excel. Um, all right, I'm going to go back. You could also do classes and locations. So if you have QuickBooks Online Plus or QuickBooks Online Advanced, you might have the classes and locations features enabled. Then that you would need the version of, of that to support that if you have that. But uh, customers and vendors, everyone's going to have those opportunities there. I'm going to switch back to vendors, and I'll do it by quarters, this year to date, run report. And that, that's also very helpful, I think, to, to kind of glance at something to see how things are going. Um, let take, let's take out this again. And it is sometimes you want to show a vendor customer, vendor summary, and you want the largest vendor to be at the top. So right now they're sorted in alphabetical order. All we would need to do is click the sort button here and click uh, total and descending order. And there we go. And you might want to uh, come up here and change the name, like vendor summary this year to date. So the trick is if you change the title of the report before you hit save customizations, that will be built in here. And, um, and of course, you can once you've got this file. A report exactly how you want it with the correct dates, the accounting method, cash or accrual. Save that report so you could reuse it um, again and again. So that's my take, guys, on the custom summary report. It is awesome, and it's a great way and pretty easy report to manage um, and save so that you can have access to the data uh, reports as you need them. So. Uh, Feel free to check out my other videos, um, sequentialsolutions.com is where you can find all these videos that I do related to QuickBooks Online, Microsoft Excel, and other small business uh, uh, topics as well. Have a great day.